In this question, we're asked to determine the density of nitrogen dioxide, NO2 gas. The pressure we're given is 0 0.970 atmospheres. And the temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. Now, of course, I'm going to want to convert that to Kelvin, so I'll just get used to doing that right off the bat. 35 plus 273.15 gives me 308.15 Kelvins. According to the uh, equation that I gave you earlier, density is equal to pressure multiplied by this fancy letter m divided by rt. The fancy letter m, by the way, is the molar mass, which you should be able to calculate pretty easily. Nitrogen weighs 14, each oxygen weighs 16, so that's 32. I add those together, I end up getting 46 grams per mole. So if we throw this all in here, we've got all of our numbers. Pressure is 0.970 atmospheres. Our molar mass is once again 46 grams per mole. R is 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And temperature in Kelvins is 308.15. The Kelvins cancel each other out. The atmospheres cancel each other out. The moles cancel each other out. And I'm left with... Well, not enough room to do the problem, unfortunately. We're left with units of grams per liter. Those are acceptable units for density. Density is, of course, a certain amount of weight in a certain volume. Those are not SI units for density, by the way, but they're acceptable for this problem. So all I have to do is plug and chug, and when I do that on my calculator, I end up getting an answer of 1.76 grams per liter. Part B of this problem asks me to calculate the molar mass, which is once again abbreviated by this fancy letter M. It's like a capital mu or something like that. Uh, if the, uh, or sorry, if 2.5 grams of it occupies 0.875 liters at a pressure of 685 torr and a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius. Okay, so you might remember from the uh, equation I throw, threw at you earlier that density is equal to pressure multiplied by molar mass divided by uh, ideal gas constant times the temperature. We, of course, have to do some unit conversions. We're going to take our temperature. We'll add 273.15 uh, to convert it to Kelvins. That ends up equaling, once again, 308.15 kelvins. I want to convert my pressure to torr so that I have matching uh, values for my ideal gas constant. So I have 685 torr. I've memorized that one atmosphere is equal to 760 torr. Same thing as 760 millimeters of mercury. The tors cancel each other out and the number that I get is 0 0.90 atmospheres. Density, if you think about it, Strictly speaking, it's any units of mass divided by volume, but conveniently, they've given us a certain number of grams, a certain number of liters. We're trying to solve for this value right here. So if I do algebra and rearrange everything, my molar mass is going to be equal to density multiplied by the ideal gas constant times temperature divided by P. Fortunately, I've been given the mass and the volume. If I throw those, or if I divide one by the other, I end up getting a density of 2.86 grams per liter. That is equal to D, my density. So I have my density value right here. I know what R is, the ideal gas constant. I have my temperature over here in Kelvins, and I've got my pressure in Torr. If I throw all of those things in there, it should give me a final answer in units of grams per mole, which are the units of molecular mass, and that's what it's asking me to find out.